In this splendid tutorial I will show you how to create a sphere with equally spaced circles on it. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok well I'm going to assume you've got a bit of knowledge um, working in Blender otherwise this tutorial will take um, quite a bit of time to do. So basically any shape that is um, of equal size you can use for this um, but I'm going to just delete the cube and hold down shift A and next to mesh I'm going to bring in an IQ sphere now as I said any object um, you can use to sort of create this effect if you're looking for um, sort of equal um, circles running around you're going to have to create your own set of vertices but for this I'm just going to use this IQ sphere so just press tab to go in your, to your key um, your edit mode sorry then hit X and select only face edges and faces and what this will do is just leave you with um, all the original vertices now if you press A to select the vertices and you just press E followed by S and then point nine 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 and then left click to accept so that's S followed by E and then point nine 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 hit tab on your keyboard to go into object mode you probably won't see the vertices because they will be very small little yellow dots but if you come up to object and then next to convert to you want to select curve and to the right of the screen look for the curve and this will say object data properties select this select the little arrow next to geometry and make sure that round is highlighted place a tick in fill caps now you can adjust the depth to make your circles so I don't know let's go for I'll do you can do whatever size you want here and to make the circles um, more round just increase the resolution so let's take this up to 8 okay so that's not looking too bad the reason we extruded this 0 0.999 um, is because if I'd left it it's just ordinary vertices this won't work okay so that's okay so once you're happy with your circles come up to object again and then next to convert to this time select mesh and while these are selected just come over to the materials properties little circular world and then select new and give it a color so all I'm going to do is just drag this slider up so they're pure white select the uh, viewpoint shading here if you want to have a look at it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is go back into um, edit mode by hitting tab and I'm going to select A for all I'm going to right click and subdivide I'll do the do this twice as so right click subdivide then come up to mesh and next to transform select sphere move your mouse and although you probably won't see it this will put a bit of curve to these um, circles now back to object mode by hitting tab then shift followed by a and the select your ICO sphere again then open up add to sphere or add ICO sphere sorry and take the subdivisions up to four give it a color so you can see what's going on that's not looking too bad I think so your ICO sphere is selected hold down shift and select your circles Hold down control followed by J to join them and now if you right click should be this shape 
these fairly smooth. It won't be perfect, but for most uh, modeling work, this will do. The only other thing you can do is go back into edit mode, make sure everything's selected, and vertexes are selected, right click, and merge vertices and select by distance. This will just clear thing, clean things up a bit, so that's taken off quite a few vertices. And then go back to object mode. Now, if this happens, and obviously this is one of the problems with Blender with modeling, just hit sh Control Z and Z again, and you'll have to just um, accept what you've got without merging the vertices. Very basic lesson. Um, obviously there's more things I could do with this but for somebody who's relatively new to Blender hopefully that's helped thank you for watching cheers